What's goody chat? What's up, guys? Yes, sir, we're back. Listen, man. I'm just as excited as you guys are. It's finally happening, man. Listen. Just... <laughs> I am so happy to be back, dude. I have missed this so much. I've had so much planned. Bro, we're back. Listen, we're back. WWE 2K 24 Universe Mode. We are here, guys. Dude, we haven't done Universe Mode content, technically, well, if we're being for real, since 2K22. Because 2K23, we started off the series, and then my whole Universe Mode got corrupted, and I just never found the time to fix it. So, we're fucking back, dude. We're fucking back. Like, it's crazy how much has happened and how much we got to talk about. Listen, man, I'm going to try my best to do this all the fucking time. I'm telling you right now. Uh, hold on. Let me just make sure everything's off. Okay. All right. Bro, Money in the Bank 2018, that was a fever dream. Uh, I think Sheamus is... If I was WWE, like if I was WWE, I would probably have a Def Rebel theme song. But if I was a fan, I would probably want written my face back. To be honest, Hellfire ain't even a, a bad theme song. Face cam, uh, I do have a camera. Uh, I do have a microphone. But we ain't doing face cam. It's universal, mode, man. I, you, don't, you don't need to see my facial expressions as a wrestling match is going on. So first of all, a l something a little different is happening. First of all, the draft is already set up. Everything is basically set up. There might be a little uh, glitches here and there with uh, certain superstars. We will get that fixed, but I didn't want to. I really didn't want to wait. So be, to be honest, I'm glad Tiffany's old. Uh, uh, her uh, old theme is back. Her new one was cheeks. I don't care what anyone says. Do I have facial hair now? Uh, sometimes, if I'm too lazy to shave it. Yeah, I do. But I usually shave it every few days. So. Uh, Alright. So let's talk about what we got going on here. Let me show you guys the pay-per-views first before we go into like any detail and what, before we got the show started. Uh, Money in the Bank will be our first stop. It is going to be a dual-branded pay-per-view. Or I should say PLE. I probably should say PLE. Uh, they could have done that, Butler. I've seen that a bunch uh, with the Tiffy time. I would have been fine with it, but I honestly, I think it's better without it because I hate when a wrestler talks before their theme song starts, basically, most of the time. Uh, so we got Money in the Bank. Then we're going to have Clash at the Castle, which will be in June. But it'll be a Raw exclusive pay-per-view. Keep that in mind. It'll be a Raw exclusive pay-per-view at the Castle. Then we will have Night of Champions in July, which will be a SmackDown exclusive pay-per-view. A SmackDown exclusive pay-per-view. Following that, we will have SummerSlam, which will be a Raw and SmackDown pay-per-view, of course. Following that, we will have the Battleground pay-per-view, uh, which will be a Raw pay-per-view. Following that, we will see No Mercy. It shows the NXT logo, but it'll be a SmackDown pay-per-view. That'll be No Mercy. Following that, we will have Survivor Series. Whether War Games happens at Survivor Series or it will be the following pay-per-view, I do not know yet. Because December, there is no PLE yet. If we do not do War Games at Survivor Series, most likely we'll have a separate pay-per-view just for War Games in December. Then we got Royal Rumble, followed by Elimination Chamber, followed by Fastlane, and then WrestleMania. Elimination Chamber this year will be a Raw pay-per-view, while uh, Fastlane will be a SmackDown pay-per-view. Now, let me just give you guys a heads up. Fastlane will be a, uh, let's just say, it won't be the Fastlane you guys know. It'll be a much better version of Fastlane. We're going to mix up some gauntlet matches in there and, like, number one contenders. Like, it'll be fun. We got WrestleMania. Uh, I'm most likely going to change the Ghost Hollywood theme. Unless I really want to keep it because I love the Ghost Hollywood theme. Um, but, yeah, that is all the PLEs. And now let me talk about the brands. We got Raw and SmackDown. We got everything set up. Let me show you guys. We're going to start with Monday Night Raw. We have four championships on Monday Night Raw. We have the brand new... WWE Champion, the Ring General himself, Gunter. We have the Raw Women's Champion, Bianca Belair. We have the new Intercontinental Champion, AJ Styles, who beat Finn Balor inside Hell in a Cell at WrestleMania. And of course, we have the new WWE Tag Team Champions, Imperium. Uh, let me check the comments real quick. 
He did a storyline with Carmelo Hayes. He cashed in on Cody Rose to become the new undisputed champion. You're having Cody return at the Rumble to win and face him at Melo. That would be an awesome match. So where was I? So I was... After my game got corrupted and I lost everything, I lost so much passion about doing stuff. And I just thought maybe I just need a little break and I'll come back to it. But I never did. Uh, my game is officially on PC. I forgot to mention that. Guys, this is my first year where I have a 2K game on PC. What that means is that later on when mods are out, I will be getting mods. We'll be getting modded AEW, guys. We're going to get a lot of stuff going on, especially theme songs. It's going to be a great time. What's up, Ryan? What's good, man? It's been a minute. How are you doing? Um... Am I scrapping the Cruiserweight title and the women's title? Let me get to that in a second. So, Gunter beat Drew McIntyre at WrestleMania. Now, you guys notice we have the old Raw women's title. I'll explain that in a moment. We have AJ Styles and we have Imperium as the Raw Tag Team Champions. I'll show you guys all the superstars in just a moment as SmackDown. Let, let me show you real quick. So, first of all, Edge has announced as your new Universal Champion that the Universal title is no more as he unvi has unveiled the brand new World Heavyweight Championship. Yes, the World Heavyweight title is back. And it is a world title on Friday Night SmackDown as Edge is your new World Champion as he defeated Aleister Black. We have Bianca Belair, the SmackDown Women's Champion. So, for those who do not remember, Bianca pulled double duty and won both championships at WrestleMania. She beat Charlotte for the Raw title and beat Rhea Ripley for the SmackDown title. So with that being said, Bianca is a double champion and she's the only free agent that will get to appear on both Raw and SmackDown. We have the Un United States champion Braun Strowman who is coming to a close of 300 days as champion. We have the, the new world Actually, they're not new. No, nah, never mind. They are the World Tag Team Champions DIY. And we have the Cruiserweight Champion Pete Dunne as well as the Women's WWE Tag Team Champions. So those titles are still a thing. Let me go back to... Actually, let me stick with SmackDown real quick. Let me show you guys the divisions real quick. Let me show you guys who is here. So SmackDown got a stacked roster. We got a stacked main event scene. As you guys might have... For those who do not remember, Seth Rollins... Lost in a loser, leaves match to Triple H, and he was on Monday Night Raw, but luckily for him, the general manager of SmackDown has signed Seth Rollins, so Seth is, has a job once again, and he is on Friday Night SmackDown. We have the Prince Finn Balor, who lost the Intercontinental Championship to AJ Styles, but now Styles and Balor are on separate brands. We have Randy Orton, who was defeated by Cody Rhodes at Mania. We have Jeff Hardy, who beat Karrion Cross, now a part of Friday Night SmackDown, John Cena, who beat Samoa Joe. I should probably put Joe here if he is. Um, we got Bray Wyatt, rest in peace to him in real life, but he's still alive in the game, boys. He's still alive in the game. We got the original bro, Matt Riddle, who unfortunately lost the WWE Tag Team titles to Imperium as his tag partner, Mustafa Ali, was unable to compete. So he had to get Rob Van Dam in the house to help him defend the titles, but unfortunately he was not successful, and now he is here on Friday Night SmackDown. We have Rey Mysterio, Cody Rhodes, and of course the former world champion himself, Aleister Black, the last ever Universal Champion. We have a stacked SmackDown women's division. We have Tegan Knox, Shotzi Blackheart, Mia Yim, Cora Jade, Zia Lee, Alba Fire, Raquel Rodriguez, Becky Lynch, who is back, Dakota Kai, Liv Morgan, Candice LeRae, Kyrie Sane, Valhalla, Maxine Dupree, Lita, and of course the former SmackDown Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley. We have the United States Championship Division, Damian Priest, Angelo Dawkins, Otis, Austin Theory, Grayson Waller, Buddy Murphy, I will fix his name, Jinder Mahal, Apollo Crews, Braun Breaker, Cameron Grimes, and Bronson Reed. For those that did not notice, Angelo Dawkins... And, the, and Montez Ford are actually split. They have split up in the draft as Montez Ford is officially on Monday Night Raw. The Street Profits are no more. SmackDown Tag Division, the World Tag Team titles, as you guys can see, it's the same belts. I renamed the titles because most likely they will be changed. We have the Alpha Academy, uh, Drew Gulak and Chad Gable. We got the D'Angelo family. We have In The Share. We have Dexter Lewis and Joe Gacy. We have Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Cruz Del Toro and Joaquin Weil, a.k.a. the LWO, making their debut. We have Pretty Deadly. We got the Viking Raiders. We got the Cruiserweight division. We got Noam Dar, Tyler Bate, Wesley, Nathan Fraser, Dominic Mysterio, babyface Dominic Mysterio, because him and his dad are still together in the game. 
uh, from storyline purposes. Axiom, Santos Escobar, and Akira Tozawa. Women's Tag Team Division. The Women's Tag Division is officially exclusive on Friday Night SmackDown as Carmelo and Chelsea Green are a team. We got Havoc, Piper Niven, and Nikki Cross. Katana and Kaden. Natalia and Tamina. Toxic Attraction. And, of course, the current Women's Tag Team Champion, Damage Control, Asuka and Io Sky. That is Friday Night SmackDown for you guys. Now, we got Monday Night Raw. We have a really stacked main event scene on Raw. We have, the, of course, the WWE Champion, Gunter, the new champion. We have Roman Reigns back on Monday Night Raw. We got Drew McIntyre, the former world champion. We have Karrion Cross, Shinsuke Nakamura, Bobby Lashley, Sheamus, Big E, for the first time in his career on Monday Night Raw, the Limitless One, Keith Lee, is on Raw. We have Ricochet and Daniel Bryan, Triple H. That is our stacked roster for you guys. I forgot to put this on our this main event scene. We got the women's division on Monday Night Raw. We have Tiffany Stratton, Blair Davenport, Zelina Vega, Nikita Lyons, Thea Hale, Shayna Baszler, the longest reigning women's champion in the universe mode. We have Alexa Bliss. Bailey, Charlotte Flair, Cora Jade, Scarlett, Ivy Nile, Isla Dawn, Sonya Deville, Ronda Rousey, Indy Hartwell, Sasha Banks, Timeless Tony Storm, Maurice, and Trish Stratus. Now we got the Intercontinental Title Division. We got Solo Sokoa, Montez Ford, Dijak, JD McDonough, Andrade, MVP, Ilya Dragunov, Baron Corbin, Omos, Ashante the Adonis, R Truth, The Miz. L.A. Knight, Logan, Paul, and of course the tag team division. We have the Undisputed Era. We have Mustafa Ali and Rob Van Dam. We have Chase U. We got Diamond Mine. We have Los Lotharios, the Usos, the New Day, the Good Brothers, and Trick and Mellow Gang. And of course we got a few others, but don't worry about that yet. Let me add Adam Cole. Let me add Cedric real quick. We have Swerve, but we'll talk about that later. That is what's going on. Um, but with that being said, chat, one more thing I want to mention is, uh, we will be unveiling new championships in the future. I'm going to tell you guys that right now. We're unveiling new championships in the future because SmackDown has a few extra titles that Raw does not have. Raw needs some extra gold. So that's what's going to be going down later on. I'm not going to show you guys the full card, of course, but we will be kicking off Monday Night Raw with the new WWE Raw and SmackDown Women's Champion Bianca Belair going one on one with Alexa Bliss. So let's not waste any more time, guys. Let's get right into the show. All right. Let's get the logo up real quick. Let's get things planned out real quick. All right. It is time. To get into some action chat, let's get this thing going. I hope y'all are excited for this, because I am. Welcome to Monday Night Raw, ladies and gentlemen. And here she is, the woman who was main eventing WrestleMania, the first ever women's main event in the universe mode. Oh, yeah, you did see me, Josh Holden. Yo, I was trying to make sure I was on TV, dude. NXT was fire. Mania was awesome, of course. But ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about this. By the way, shout out to uh, all of you guys for being here. I appreciate it. I will say my commentary might be a little weak because it's been a minute. I might be a little off when it comes to commentary. I got to build that back up. But let's talk about it. Bianca Belair beat Charlotte Flair, beat Rhea Ripley, and now she is your undisputed WWE Women's Champion as she is set to open up the first ever Monday Night Raw of the 2K24 Universe Series. But it will not be any easy task as coming out. And from Columbus, Ohio, Alexa Bliss. The goddess herself, five feet of fury, cannot take her lightly just because of her height. She is as dangerous as they come, and she looks to make an impact as the first 
opponent of the new undisputed champion, Bianca Belair. Letting you guys know, the Raw and SmackDown Women's titles are not unified. Bianca will be defending both championships individually. So I'm just going to give you guys that heads up real quick. Why am I not doing NXT? That's a great question. I think with the rosters we got, we could actually make it work with just Raw and SmackDown. Plus, I feel like it's a lot of booking. And of course, we got the awesome camera angle. But look at Alexa Bliss looking to start things off strong here against the women's champion. But Bianca Belair not going to take too kindly to that one. to the corner and here comes Bianca the undisputed champion looking to go to work early on massive standing move so and this is where Bianca Belair wants to be and looking to go for it a second time Bianca has to stay on that offensive side hope you guys like the new camera angle I'm just gonna probably keep it I don't know for sure oh look at Alexa trying to turn things around this is our first match here in the universe mode imagine how Insane it would be if Alexa Bliss could steal a victory here tonight against the champion. It's the cover. And a quick kick out at one. Trying to turn things around once again. So, Ryan, with the music, since I'm on PC, I have it out on a lower volume. We'll see if I got, got to remove it or not. We'll see. I, I don't know yet. Alexa Bliss with the duck underneath and looking to set up Bianca. Oh, shoulder right into the face of Bianca Belair. Can you imagine if Alexa could put, pick up a win tonight? Oh, she's facing no easy task as she's facing the EST of WWE, the undisputed WWE Women's Champion, and sends the goddess over the top rope. Bianca Belair is on fire here tonight. Oh, I forgot to turn those numbers off. I got to do that later on. And now taking her down once again. Things not looking too good here. Alexa looking to turn things around on Bianca with a dragon screw. Things not looking too good here for the WWE Women's Champion. Down goes Bianca off the shoulder tackle. But again, Bianca will not give up just yet. It's going to take a lot more for Alexa to take her down. Back body drop takes down the goddess. This is not where... Alexa wants to be looking for the standing glam slam connecting. Bianca Belair is on fire now. Can she capitalize? Up to the top, double axe handle. Go for the first pinfall attempt on Bianca. Cover. And a kick out at two as Alexa Bliss stays alive in this one. Your world champion is Gunther. Gunther's my WWE champion. So the universal title is no more in the universe mode as we have the uh, world heavyweight championship back. I didn't want to. I didn't want to bring the undisputed title design. I kind of like the old WWE title design that we had. That's why I didn't change it for uh, Gunther. I don't like the undisputed title design that much. But Bianca now. Oh, look at this from the top. With a Spanish fly, takes down Alexa Bliss into the cover, referee in position, but Alexa just gets the shoulder up, and Bianca Belair cannot believe it, and now looking to take things into her own hands, looking for the KOD, but it looks like Alexa was able to reverse it, elbow right to the face, clothesline, nobody there, takes her down, double leg, and now hammering away again on the goddess. Can Bianca take advantage up to the second rope? Looking for a splash, nobody home. Oh, that did not look good for Bianca, but she's not gonna give up that easily. Oh, wait a minute. Schoolboy to the cover. And a kick out again. What's up, Fiend? I don't know if Bianca got a tope. We're about to find out, chat. Bianca Belair calling up the goddess. Alexa could be in trouble. The crowd going crazy. Bianca went over the top rope. Back inside the ring. Bianca Belair now heads back to the top rope. Looking to put things away here. Frog splash. Could that be it on Alexa Bliss? And another kick out. Alexa still got some fight left in her. But Bianca realizes her opportunity is near. 
to put this match away. With Alexa Bliss up on her shoulders, KOD connecting into the cover on Alexa Bliss. Bianca Belair with the win. Defeating, oh hold on a second. Look who it is. It is the woman who won the World's Collide Battle Royal to earn a Women's Championship opportunity. And it could be against Bianca Belair, Sasha Banks, and Bianca Belair stare down as we go into commercial break. Ah, uh, see what I did there? Yeah, I don't know why it was slow motion like that, James. That was kind of weird. Things are going well, Ryan. Things are going well. All right, guys, but coming up next, it is time for our first Money in the Bank qualifying match. Remember, I said Money in the Bank is the first PLE here in the universe mode, and we're going with a crazy one tonight. We have the leader of the Undisputed Era, Adam Cole, taking on the one and only Ricochet, who takes on the American Dragon, Daniel Bryan. Everything's good, Ryan. We're about to have a banger tonight. Who is going to be the first of six superstars to, to uh, qualify for the men's money in the bank ladder match? It is Adam Cole, Ricochet, Daniel Bryan. Let me know your predictions, chat. Who do you guys got winning tonight? Who do you guys got winning it? It's about to be a crazy one. Let's go. Back to Monday Night Raw after a crazy start with Bianca and Sasha Banks. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada. I was thinking about doing that too, Nightmare. 190 pounds, Ricochet. How is it witnessing Roman's legendary reign and as undisputed champion? Bro, the crazy thing to say right now, Roman's reign ended, or Roman's reign as champion, universal champion, started when I was a freshman in high school, ninth grade. And it was during the pandemic. And his reign ended senior year of high school for me, 12th grade. And I got to witness it in person. That is something I'm gonna get to tell my grandchildren. And that's the that was awesome, man. Like it was amazing. WrestleMania in person was fantastic. It was so cold the first night, dude. I heard fans were complaining on Twitter about the fans being quiet. My section was loud as fuck. I don't know what they're hearing, but also I was kind of further in the back, so I'm not sure. But I got a great view of the ring, so it was fantastic. We got Ricochet in the ring as he's set to weigh his two opponents who are looking to qualify themselves. What's up, Boxy? I think I remember you, Boxy. Yeah, no, I remember your old name. What's good, bro? And his opponents, first from Panama City, Florida, weighing in at 210 pounds. At yes, I will be. Bay Bay. Yes, I will be still using uh, Bray Wyatt. He's actually drafted on SmackDown. He just came off a win at WrestleMania, The Fiend, against, uh, against Damian Priest. It's been a minute, but look at Adam Cole strolling down to the ring tonight. The leader of the Undisputed Era would love to get the first spot in the Money in the Bank ladder match. Who do you guys got winning tonight? We got Ricochet. We got Adam Cole. And of course, we got the American Dragon. I haven't watched the documentary yet, uh, Fiend. I haven't watched it yet. I've, I've got to catch up on a lot of stuff, man, but I haven't watched from it yet. Aberdeen, Washington, weighing in at 210 pounds, the Dragon, Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan came off a loss at WrestleMania against Austin Theory, unfortunately, but he's looking to rebound now, part of the Monday Night Raw roster. Can you guys imagine if we get to see Daniel Bryan win the Money in the Bank ladder match and cash in on Gunter, our WWE champion? That would be absolutely insane. Daniel Bryan in the ring. Let's get to the action, chat.
No, I know you, uh, WWE Nightmare. I know. I remember you. I remember you, of course. Venom, you know you used to pop up a lot for me. For, um, in, like, the big uh, wrestling videos. You'd be, like, the top comment for a bit. Starting off early on. Why is it so slow? I don't know why it's so slow. Oh, look at Ricochet going crazy early on. Now Daniel Bryan turning his attention to Adam Cole. And now look at Ricochet and Bryan working together, stomping away while Cole is trapped. Oh, and now Ricochet turning his attention to Daniel Bryan, Death Valley driver. Oh, and Cole out of nowhere. I don't know why it's so slow, dude. That's kind of weird. Neckbreaker connecting. Ricochet is down. Adam Cole now looking to take advantage. Cole looking to take the opportunity here. Guys, if you're wondering what the timer is in the corner, I'm trying to implement something that AEW does with the time limits in the match. I actually like that idea. Kind of adds a little more realism to the matches. Ricochet off the cover. Why was that count so slow, dude? What the hell was that? Can we get Prime AG Universe mode back? Bro, that's what I'm planning to do. What, bro, what happened? Did my controller disconnect? Oh, we're back. We're good. We're good. It just disconnected by accident. Um, so the next time I'm going to be live after today is most likely going to be Thursday. That's what I'm planning to do, at least. Adam Cole going to work here on Ricochet. Remember, this is for the first spot in the men's Money in the Bank ladder match. We will see another Money in the Bank ladder match qualifier later tonight for the women's side of things as we see Zelina Vega take on Bailey and Indy Hartwell and look at Ricochet go what a kick oh and there's a kendo stick remember no disqualifications no disqualifications in triple threat matches Daniel Bryan doing the smart thing and now the kendo stick is all broken up that was a really smart strategy oh look at Ricochet going flying out of nowhere. I don't know if it's the cars that are making it slow or the custom arena. Might be the custom arena, to be honest. Might have to change that. Now look at Ricochet looking to take advantage. Are we going to get a team up between Ricochet and Adam Cole? Double suplex to Bryan. Remember, Daniel Bryan's probably the biggest target in this match. Can't take anything away from Adam Cole or Ricochet, though. Big knee by Ricochet. I don't think that it's because I'm live. I don't think it has anything to do with that. Oh, now Ricochet. Big knee and Cole heading back to the ring. There's the boot. Taking everybody out. Kick. Both men looking to collide. But Ricochet got it. Boom, suplex. Adam Cole caught Ricochet. And now it looks like it's Adam Cole's turn to turn things around. We'll see, Ryan. We'll see. Oh, and look at Brian back suplex. Oh, there it is. Recoil connecting. Into the cover. Oh, but Cole right there. Not allowing Ricochet to get the pinfall attempt. That was a smart strategy by Ricochet to go straight for the cover. Ricochet lands hard on the outside. Here comes Adam Cole. Boom, drop kick. Oh, I know what you're talking about. The color reversal prompts would be so beneficial, to be honest. Bryan getting another weapon. Smart strategy by Daniel Bryan. But Ricochet was ready for it that time. Duck underneath. Misses wildly. Ricochet now looking to steal it. Into the cover. And a quick kick out again. And Adam Cole from behind right to the back of the head. Taking out Ricochet. And Cole sees that chair and he knows exactly what he wants to do with that. Jesus, what's up, Derwin? Welcome to the stream. Trying to go for the cover. Oh, look at Ricochet out of nowhere. My God. That is why they call him the one and only. Big knee once again. 
Oh, and there goes Ricochet. Daniel Bryan now has to take the opportunity and out against Adam Cole. And now Ricochet. Look at this man go. Boom. Oh, what a right hand. And a headbutt. That could be it for Ricochet. Bryan has been in control. I don't know why it's slow, man. I got to fix that next stream. Adam Cole, super kick! That could be it for Adam, for Daniel Bryan. But Daniel looking to steal it. Small package, victory in his grasp. But no, Cole able to kick out. My goodness. Oh, and there goes Ricochet out of nowhere. There goes Cole. Down goes Adam Cole. From the top. 630. No way into the cover. And a kick out. A kick out. Cole went for the last shot. No one was there. Poison Rana. Cover. And a kick out. Brian back into it. I don't know why the count is slow. I think it might be because of the custom, too many custom things going on at the same time. I'll figure that part out. Oh, here we go. Oh my God. What was that? I don't even know what to call that. Ricochet now with Brian up. Could be looking to finish things off. Bam, Samoa Driver. Referee to position. That's it. Ricochet has qualified. Adam Cole was just too late. Here is your winner, Ricochet. Ricochet with a much needed victory after coming up short against Pete Dunne for the Cruiserweight title on WrestleMania weekend. Now has an opportunity to call himself Mr. Money in the bank. If he can outlast the other five superstars that will qualify in the coming weeks. Congratulations to the one and only Ricochet. It's going to be a six-man money in the bank. Six-man money in the bank. That's what we're doing. Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, it is for the WWE Tag Team Championships. And what I'm talking about is Imperium, Ludwig Kaiser, and Giovanni Vinci will be hosting an open challenge in their first night as Tag Team Champions. This should be very, very interesting. Who will accept Kaiser and Vinci's challenge? We find out live and next here on Monday Night Raw. This is the Raw after Mania. Yes, Butler. It has been a long road for these men to finally call themselves the WWE Tag Team Champions. The last three months, they've been chasing against Matt Riddle and Mustafa Ali for the Raw Tag Team titles. But because of Gunter, Mustafa Ali was taken out of action right before Mania, which left Matt Riddle the following vulnerable. The is a tag team match set for one fall and is for the WWE Tag Team Championship. On the way to the ring at a combined weight of 440 pounds. The WWE Tag Team Champions, Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser Imperia. I do not have uh, renders for champions. I was actually thinking about not even giving the champions renders because it's a lot of work to change it when we have title changes and stuff. And to be honest, you guys know who the champions are. And if you guys ask, I'll just tell you. But let me know. Do you guys think I should add the renders back? Because I feel like it's... It's not necessary right now, especially with what I've got going on. 
You guys notice I, I changed the name of the Raw Tag Titles. They're just the WWE Tag Titles. While the SmackDown ones will be... Uh, SmackDown Tag Titles will be the World Tag Team Championships. That's what we're doing. Who is going to accept the open challenge? Giovanni Vinci, Ludwig Kaiser. Tag Titles on the line. Who is going to accept? Yeah, you can't change it. That's why I was going to turn off the ring announcers. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. God! Is it happening, chat? They're here! Trick and Mellow Gang is here! Making their Universmo debuts! At a combined weight of 415 pounds, the team of Cargo Hayes and Trick. This is huge! In their first night, being drafted in the universe mode, they're here accepting the open challenge of Imperium for the Tag Team Championships. What an impact they can make tonight! Wow! This is incredible! Whoop that trick! Let's go! This is gonna be a good one. It is all four. That's it right there. The WWE Tag Team Titles. Kaiser and Vinci defend the belts here tonight against Trick and Mellow Gang. Let's go. What an opportunity it is. Kaiser looks to be starting this match off tonight against Trick Williams. I don't need to go into detail of who these men are. You guys know exactly who they are. Starting off early on, here comes Trick Williams. Sending. Oh! Early on, takes down Kaiser. It is Imperium's open challenge tonight. They are defending the WWE Tag Team titles that they just won at WrestleMania Saturday two nights ago in yeah. kayfabe. Carmelo Hayes now looking for a DDT early on as he was just tagged in. Can we get a recap of the current champs? Yes, I can give you a recap. On Monday Night Raw, the WWE Champion is the Ring General Gunta. The Intercontinental Champion is AJ Styles. The Tag Champions, as you see, are Imperium. And the Raw Women's Champion is Bianca Belair. We do not have the updated women's titles just yet, and I'll explain why in a second. Oh my goodness, down goes Ludwig Kaiser. Could we be seeing new tag champions? Oh, and a quick kick out. On SmackDown, the World Heavyweight Champion, formerly Universal Champion, now World Heavyweight Champion, is Edge. We have the SmackDown Women's Champion, who is also Bianca Belair. She is a double champion right now, which is why, what's that? Which is why the titles have not gotten a new design yet. Tag in. Here comes Giovanni Vinci. The United States champion is Braun Strowman. And who else we got? We got the women's tag team champions, Asuka and Io Sky. Damage control. And the cruiserweight champion is Pete Dunn. SmackDown got a lot of champions. Big spine buster by Giovanni Vinci. Into the cover on Trick Williams to retain the titles with a kick out. be a big opportunity as Kaiser and Vinci continue to do so. You hear the boost from the WWE Universe. Could be going flying potentially. Oh my God. Giovanni had that in the bag. Takes out Trick Williams. That is why they are the reigning tag team champions tonight. But it was their choice to have this open challenge. Guys, later on tonight, the ring general Gunter in our main event of the evening goes one-on-one -on -one with Rob Van Dam. That is our main event here tonight on Monday Night Raw. Let me repeat myself. Rob Van Dam. Oh! Ludwig with the assist uppercut into the cover to retain the championships. And a kick out once again. That's because the fans love Rhea Ripley so much, man. 
Yo, Ripley might have to vacate the title. I heard she's injured. That's that's so unfortunate. Especially with how long the reign has been. I hope it's not the case. I hope she's alright. Trick is in desperate need of a tag for Carmelo Hayes right now. It is not looking good here. Whatsoever. Oh, but Trick takes down Kaiser. Could this be the opportunity he was looking for? Bam! There's the knee. He needs to make a tag as soon as possible. Try to drag Ludwig Kaiser into the corner. Tag made. Here comes Carmelo Hayes. For those who don't, don't know this man, he is him. And he's just going to show you exactly why. Big tag team maneuver. Now Carmelo Hayes sends Ludwig Kaiser off the ropes. Duck underneath. Leapfrog. Here we go. Beautiful neck breaker. Takes down Ludwig Kaiser into the cover to win the championships. But a kick out at one. Uh, right now, it's uh, 6, 10 p.m. where I am at, Eastern Time. It will be unfortunate, man. I hope it's not the case. Back into the corner. Trick and Mellow Gang doing great work here over Imperium. Big open challenge. Oh, my goodness. But Ludwig Kaiser now needs to turn things around as soon as possible. Oh, my goodness. Dragon. Trick by the head. Tag made. Oh, that was a cool tag. That was a cool tag. Did you guys see that? I, like, ran to the corner, and he, like, ran into the turnbuckle to make the tag. That was, like, a hot tag right there. Vinci, though, sends Trick into the corner. Now takes him down. Nobody home. This is where Giovanni does best here. Big right hand. Here comes Vinci. But again, Trick trying to turn things around. Nice reversal by Trick Williams. Go for the neck breaker. But Giovanni now exchanging with his own neck breaker. What a beautiful sequence we just witnessed right there. Back to Ludwig Kaiser, who is legal, trying to break it up. Oh, he couldn't get the tag. The fans booing him right now. Booing Ludwig Kaiser. But Kaiser now continuing the onslaught. Trick is in desperate need of that tag. Ludwig up to the top rope. I don't think he realized it, but Trick's back up. Stomping away. Trick gonna head up to the top rope. Things don't look well here. Big body splash to Ludwig Kaiser into the cover. Oh, and it's over! What an upset! Yo! On their first night here on Monday Night Raw, they have won the Tag Team Championships! Carmelo Hayes, Trick Williams in their debut have defeated Imperium to become the new WWE Tag Team Champions. And like you said, Josh, in the comments, Gunter will not be happy. Things are going to get really interesting. What a way to make a debut. Kaiser and Vinci's reign as Tag Champions lasted no longer than two days, guys. Two days. Days. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. But ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, we will get to see the phenomenal AJ Styles in action as he gets to show off why he is your intercontinental champion. The phenomenal one is here live right now. Oh, uh, yeah, you should probably bother. You probably should. The phenomenal one is here. The following is scheduled for one. 
fall, making his way to the rings, representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the Intercontinental Champion, the phenomenal AJ Styles. AJ Styles is a two-time Intercontinental Champion in his crazy rivalry with Finn Balor that culminated at WrestleMania. Inside Hell in a Cell, AJ was able to reclaim his title. Balor and Styles were tag champions multiple times together. Balor threw it all away because he wanted to be a singles champion. But look at him now without a title while AJ Styles is thriving as your Intercontinental Champion. Yeah, bro, this theme song is goaded. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, here we go. Speaking of former Intercontinental Champions. Speaking of former Intercontinental Champions, it is the A-lister himself, The Miz. And a perfect opponent for AJ Styles here tonight. Crowd chanting AJ Styles early on. And look at Styles taking down The Miz. This is going to be a fun one. The Miz now looking to turn things around. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my goodness. Spiking Styles. Miz going to work on AJ Styles right now. I'm going to let you guys know a heads up. I'm probably going to change the Raw stage. SmackDown stage is perfect. Like, because I couldn't find the perfect mix for Monday Night Raw, so I just kind of used it this stage. I am going to change it, though. Miz continuing to go to work on the Intercontinental Champion, AJ Styles. I'll check them out. I'll check them out, Butler. I'm going to try to get this streamed up before Monday Night Raw actually starts because I don't want to go over there. He's up to the top. Elbow drop. Nobody home. AJ saw that coming. Big right hand. Big and Seguri takes down The Miz. The Intercontinental Champion going to go to work now. Moonsault caught. Inverted DDT. This is what AJ Styles does best right here. Going to work over the A-lister. Nice arm drag connecting. They still on his feet though. Oh, right to the back. Nice maneuver right there. Powering up Styles. Yeah, that happens, Butler. That happens. The AI is interesting for sure. Oh, is Miz looking to go flying? That would be crazy. No way. Oh, my goodness. Styles evaded disaster, and it might have just costed the Miz. My goodness. Now powering up Miz for the... Oshigaroshi. Oh, Miz caught him though. That does not look good for Styles though. Miz now into the cover. Shoulders are down, but Styles just trying to get out of harm's way. Nice maneuver right there. Miz gonna turn things around. These guys are gonna exchange blows here. Big form. Miz is down. Could he be out? <laughs> Things don't look good here for the Miz. As AJ looks to lock in the calf crusher. Submission here on the Miz. Is the Miz going to have to tap? 
This is not a good look here for the A-lister. Styles holding on, but Miz able to break the hold. Nice reversal by AJ. Down to a knee, big kick. Oh, Miz trying to evade. Big attack right there. Styles heading to the top rope. Oh, but Miz is right there. Once again. Oh, but Styles able to reverse that time. Cross body connecting into the cover on Miz. And a kick out at two. What can we be seeing from Styles now? Pele kick connecting. Miz has no idea where he's at right now. As Styles now lifts up the A-lister for the Styles clash and makes quick work of the Miz. Styles with the win tonight. Hold on a second. Oh, look who it is. The leader of the Lotharios, Andrade. And look at AJ Styles. He says, come get some. It looks like Andrade's got his eyes on the Intercontinental Championship. Very, very interesting. We're going to have to see where that leads to later on. Very, very interesting. Well, we have the women's money in the bank ladder match. Let's randomize. Let's find out who our winner is. Ready, set, go. And Bailey has qualified for the money in the bank ladder match. We have Damien Kemp taking on Ilya Dragunov. Let's see who wins it tonight. Damien Kemp gets the win over the Czar. Very, very interesting. But chat, it is main event time here tonight as the WWE Champion, Gunter, is here tonight as he goes one-on-one -on -one against Rob Van Dam. I will let you guys know there is something a little glitchy with Gunter's entrance. I got to fix it. I'm just going to give you guys a quick heads up on that. But it is main event time here on Raw. Here we go. The Trons are a little iffy, but we will fix them later on. But he is the brand new WWE Champion. The man who won the Royal Rumble. The man who main evented WrestleMania. The man who defeated Drew McIntyre to become the, the new champion. Scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, representing Imperium. From Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, the WWE Champion, Gunter! Gunter. Looking to make an example tonight. Obviously, Gunter cannot be happy after Kaiser and Vinci lost the tag titles earlier tonight in an open challenge. But Gunter's got to focus on his own match because he's the main event tonight. I don't know if it's luckily for him or not, but it's not a championship match, but it is a big match feel. The crowd is ready for the ring general. Let's see what he's made of tonight. But it's time. Cause Rob Van Dam is here. Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 235 pounds. Rob. You guys didn't think Rob Van Dam would stick around, but you guys are wrong because here he is. It was not just one night where he would help Matt Riddle. He is officially a part of the universe mode, officially a part of the Monday Night Raw roster. And it looks like he's not finished with Imperium because he's going one-on-one -on -one with the WWE Champion. That being the ring general, Gunta. Here we go. 
And look at Rob Van Dam, knowing that Gunter is a very offensive striker. He's got to keep Gunter in trouble. Oh, taking him down with him. Could be getting a potential pinfall attempt here. Oh, but a kick out right away. Rob Van Dam's got to figure out where the weaknesses are of the WWE Champion. This is only Gunter's 366th day as a part of the universe mode. And already he is a world champion. But it is our main event tonight, ladies and gentlemen. The WWE Champion, Gunter, going to work on Rob Van Dam here tonight. Oh, but Gunter caught him. Never turn your back on your opponent. That's what Gunter has told many opponents. Never turn your back against him. And this is exactly why, because look at Gunter dropping Van Dam right on the ropes. Yo, the women's North American title is going to be awesome, dude. It's going to be so cool. I'm so excited for it. Now Goons are just trying to work over Van Dam on the outside. RVD could be in trouble. Oh, big kick! Takes down Gunter. Van Dam back inside the rank. Who's going to take advantage? Gunter realized that Rob Van Dam's not any ordinary old man. He's an athletic one. And it's coming into fruition right now. Look at the power. Oh, wait a minute. Are, are we going to see an ending right now? Well, maybe not. Calling up the ring general. Rob Van Dam from the top, big kick. Side kick right to the face from the top rope into the cover to pin the WWE Champion. But Gunter gets out at two and wisely rolling out of the ring. Oh, but now back into the ring. Oh, and Gunter with an STO. That didn't catch Rob Van Dam well. Off the ropes. Caught him with a back body drop and the assault continuing here. Could we be seeing a potential fireman's carry? Nice reversal. Van Dam taking down Gunter. Big knee right to the face. Rob Van Dam up to the top rope now. Once again. What can we be seeing here? From the top. Oh my goodness. Cannonball off the top. Not sure if he got the entire thing, but Gunter is down after all. Gunter getting his ass handed to him for sure right now. Oh no, this is not a good look for the ring. General Hurricane Rana from the top rope. Can RVD pin the WWE Champion? Oh, but Gunter kicks out. Oh, and now look at the ring general taking advantage. Gunter now. Look at him ranking at the forehead. And this is not a good look here for a legend like Rob Van Dam. And look at RVD trying to roll out, but that might have been the worst thing he could have done right now. Face first, he goes into the apron, and Gunter's not going to give him a second to breathe. This is going to be an onslaughter. I could already see it. And I'm just sending him into the barricade. Fans booing, of course, the WWE Champion himself. Gunter wants to prove why the mat is sacred. He's got to defend it right here. Back into the ring. RVD now. Oh, my goodness. And Gunter just taunting him at this point. This is not a good look. Oh, Rob Van Dam not liking that very much. Spinning back kick. Oh, and now Rob Van Dam doing the taunting. Big crossbody. Gunter once again back to his feet though. Big chop, and there are the chops by Gunter. Oh, and this might be the end here. Splash nobody home. Keep picking him up, no. Big power slam. That might be it for RVD into the cover for the victory. And a kick out at two. 
Oh no, no, this is not a good look here. Gunter from the top, splash, nobody home. Got him with the kick right to the knee. Gunter hanging on though, over the ropes. Oh no, look at Sunset Flip Power Bomb to the outside. Rob Van Dam's on a roll now. Oh, what are we gonna see here? Moon Salt! Rob Van Dam might have a chance here to beat the WWE Champion. Oh, but now Gunter sends him back into the ring. Can't waste any time in motion. Suicide dive! Oh my God, no one was there. And Rob Van Dam landed hard on his head. Oh, that was not a good choice for Rob Van Dam. He tried to go for that quick suicide dive. And now look at Gunter, oh my goodness, the assault continuing. Are you kidding me? Fireman's carry now. And again, Rob Van Dam set face first into the apron. Might have gotten busted open a little bit. This is our main event, ladies and gentlemen, of Monday Night Raw. It is WWE Champion Gunter versus Rob Van Dam. Oh my God, Gunter from the top. No, you can't be serious here. Oh my goodness, nobody home. Gunter got caught. Oh my goodness. Super kick! Off the ropes! Sent on no! Off the ropes! Power slam! Rob Van Dam might have an opportunity! Oh, but Gunter is getting up to his feet. That's not what he wanted. But Rob Van Dam stalking it at the moment. There's the cannonball! Now heads back to the top. Can he do it? Five star frog splash, but oh, it took a lot out of him. Can he get the cover? One, two, oh, Gunter kicks out. The crowd chanting fight forever. Rob Van Dam almost had the champion pinned, but now he's got to figure out how he's gonna do it. Gunter was just able to kick out. Might have to go to the top one more time. But again, look at Gunter, just avoiding it. And that's not what Gunter wanted. And now, oh, that was a mistake by Rob Van Dam. Gunter sends him off the top rope. And now looking for the power bomb. Connecting! Stacks him up. One, two, and the champion is victorious. That is your WWE Champion. But hold on just a second. The winner of the King of the Ring Tournament. Shinsuke Nakamura. And it looks like we found out who's Gunter's first challenger. The artist, the king, Shinsuke Nakamura. Has his eyes on the title that he once held proudly. The WWE Championship. What a way to close out Monday Night Raw, ladies and gentlemen. Nakamura. The man who won the King of the Ring tournament wants his opportunity at the title. As we move on to Friday Night SmackDown, it's time for me to set up the card. So in the meantime, you guys are putting, being put on the SmackDown logo. All right, let's get going. Let's see. All right, you guys can talk in the comments. I will be uh, replying to you guys, of course. I'm just going to focus on this real quick. The 
me see. Can I show you all the custom superstar entrances? I will show. I can show you them possibly next stream. I can't do it today because we're running short on time, and I want to be able to finish before uh, Monday Night Raw starts. Because of course, you know that makes sense, right? Rumble will be held in Toronto in your universe. All right, sounds good, dude. Sounds good. That should be a good one, actually. Uh, let me see what's the main event going to be today. I'm going to have... All right. Oh, they did really name dropped. They name dropped them. Interesting. All right, let me think real quick. You guys can keep commenting. Big surprise plan for the Rumble match, and it may be women's. Interesting. Interesting. show set up completely we should be good
All right. All right, looks like we're good, chat. So, ladies and gentlemen, tonight's Friday Night SmackDown will kick off in a massive way. By the way, we're, the stage you guys are about to see is going to be fire. That's all I'm going to tell you. That's all I'm going to tell you. This is the Friday Night SmackDown stage. It looks awesome, dude. I'm so excited. And we're kicking off in a massive way here on Friday Night SmackDown with the United States Champion. Raw is not sold out tonight. I found out the streak is over. I know. After coming off a massive win at WrestleMania. The contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the United States Championship. Making his way to the ring from Sheryl's Ford, North Carolina, weighing in at 385 pounds, the United States Champion, Braun. After coming off a massive win at WrestleMania against his former best friend, Dijak, Braun Strowman looks to write a new chapter in his reign as United States Champion. That reign looks to start tonight in his third reign as champion. Remember, Braun Strowman is the longest reigning United States Champion of all time, but not in this reign. It was his first reign that lasted 272 days. He is so close to surpassing that reign that number if he makes it through June as champion he will be breaking his record still being the longest reigning champion but the question is who will accept the open challenge the uh, Dijex action on Monday Night Raw just wanted to let y'all know that oh hold on a second Well, that's the modern-day Maharaja, Jinder Mahal. Is it going to be Jinder who accepts the open challenge? Oh, hold on a second. He's not alone. Ladies and gentlemen, for those who do not know who these two massive men are, that is Veer and that is Sangha. They call themselves in the share. But which one of them is accepting the challenge? Representing in the share from Uttar Pradesh, India. Weighing in at 275 pounds, Veer Mahan! Veer Mahan will be the one who faces Braun Strowman for the United States Championship. He's the one that came tonight. Oh! <laughs> Veer and Strowman for the championship. Let's go. Guys, I hope you like the SmackDown stage. The red actually looks really good with the blue, in my opinion. I, I love it, to be honest. What do you guys think about it? Yo, what's up, Josh? And you guys will get a good look at the stage the whole time. Strowman. And Veer. One-on-one -on -one for the United States title to open up Friday Night SmackDown. Oh, my God! Veer Mahan right out the gate! Looking to bring it to the United States Champion. This is not exactly what Braun Strowman had in mind. Boom! Strowman has to turn things around. Oh, look at Strowman with the massive knees in the corner. This is Veer Mahan's Universe Mode debut. He's a part of the faction known as Indus Share. But tonight he gets a singles championship opportunity against the Mountain Among Men. Veer Mahan doing a great job trying to keep the champion down. I think he might turn heel, to be honest. We'll see. Oh, he is laughing at Veer. Oh, and look at Veer trying to catch him a Braun. Power slam. And Braun is just soaking it in right now here on Friday Night SmackDown. Oh, my goodness. Running through Veer as we speak. Now, once again, 
Oh my goodness, a shoulder breaker. Deer is going to need to take a moment to recuperate because right now things ain't looking good. Oh, and again over the top rope. Sangha trying to get involved. I don't know why it's so slow right now. Oh, Braun Strowman breaking it up. Missed the boo wildly. And taking him down again. Oh, look at Jinder Mahal trying to distract Strowman, but Strowman again. Massive suplex. Things ain't looking too good here for Mahan. Not able to evade though. Strowman with the right hand. Down goes Strowman. Oh, this could be a bad look here. Into the corner. Oh, nobody home. Oh, and now Braun lifts him up and drops him down with a choke slam. Into the cover for the win. And a kick out at two by Veer Mahan. Braun now looking to lift up for the running power slip. Fear right to the knee. Oh my goodness. Things ain't looking good here for Braun Strowman. Fear Mahan going to work over the United States champion. for a potential submission here on Strowman. Very interesting, but Strowman trying to hold on for dear life. A nice reversal there. That might have caught him off guard. But now Braun, massive throw to Mahan. Big boot right to the knee. Off the ropes. Oh, look at Strowman, power slam. Tilt the world, run a power slam. Braun Strowman retains. What an ending. Here is your winner. Oh yeah, for sure. United States Champion. I don't know why he said new. It's still, still the United States Champion. Braun Strowman retaining the title here tonight on Friday Night SmackDown. Well, ladies and gentlemen, tag division is going to get crazy. But here is Gigi Dolan and JC Jane of Toxic Attraction, led by the unfeasible Sonia Deville, who is making her SmackDown debut as well. As she will be at ringside for Gigi and JC to take on Caden Carter and Katana Chance. Let's see who picks up the win tonight. It is Gigi Dolan and JC Jane with the massive win tonight. But well, coming up next, we have Sami Zayn going one-on-one -on -one with one half of the world tag team champions. Obviously, Zayn and Owens were not successful in winning the championships at WrestleMania. But could Zayn get a possible victory tonight? We find out next. Back here on Friday Night SmackDown. From Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, Sammy Zayn! <laughs> the crowd.
crowd going crazy here tonight for sure. But here comes one half of the tag champions. Zane and Owen, or Zane and Champ, as you see, are not accompanying Gargano and Zane to their match tonight because, according to the general manager, they wanted a fair fight tonight. So Champa and Owens are barred from ringside. So it's going to be a fair fight for sure. One half of the world champ, tag team champions. We are on the road to Money in the Bank, Josh. That is correct. Oh. Johnny Wrestling going to work early on on Sami Zayn. By the way, for those that don't know, Z Sami Zayn is a heel by Universal Man, along with Kevin Owens. Kind of like how they were heels in 20, uh, 2017. This guy's going to have a good one for sure. Nice uppercut by Zane. What is up with this game, bro? I'm trying to get this nice kick. It just won't work. Zane slowing down the pace of this matchup. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, later on tonight here on Friday Night SmackDown, we will see the new World Heavyweight Champion in action. Zango just working over Gargano. The fans obviously not loving it that much. Sammy up to the second rope. Oh, for a splash! Oh, connecting. Into the cover. And kick out. Gargano gets back to his feet. And here comes Johnny wrestling. Zane with the reversal again. Got him again. What is up with the kick, man? That kick is messed up right now. Sammy sent off the ropes. And look at Sammy again reversing every little thing that he gets taken out with. And now looking for the exploder into the corner. Gargano could be in trouble. Again, colliding again and again. Nice hurricane run by Zane. And Zane, look at the Zane taunting. Gargano in a very bad predicament right now. Zane up to the top rope. Could be going for a swan taunt bomb. Gargano might be out of it. Zane, a little late to the cover right there. One, two. And a kick out at two. Gargano, yet again, staying alive. Zane's been on the offense majority of this matchup. And watch this. Here comes Sami Zayn. Off the ropes. Here comes Zayn. Suicide dive. Try to get that extra momentum up. Oh, wait. Gargano, though. Going to send Zayn back into the ring. Oh, Sammy looking to go for the top rope, but I don't think that's going to work out. Gargano staring him down. And there goes Zayn. Oh, 
look at Gargano. Oh, what a tornado DDT! Dropping Zayn, and this is not where Sammy wants to be. Not at all. Heading back to the top rope. Going for it again, trying to take him out. Zayn caught him this time. Crossbody. Cover. Oh, with Gargano able to stay alive again. Zayn's been doing a fantastic job keeping Gargano down. Oh, now Gargano though, able to roll out, catching Zayn. Misses the kick. And there's the drop kick himself. Zayn now. Powering up Gargano. Sit out power bomb. Cover. And a kick out at two once again. Sami Zayn cannot believe it. Zayn getting a little aggravated, it seems. Oh, went for the drop kick. Nobody home. That might have hurt Zayn more than he thought it would. Into the corner. Powering up Sammy for the Lord Door. Face first into the middle turnbuckle. Might take out Zayn for the three count. But a kick out at two. Zayn staying alive. But look at. Sammy trying to crawl to the corner, evade anything, but now it's Gargano who's bringing it up to him. Beautiful leg drop connecting. Nice kick once again. Oh, and now Gargano. Go for the Gargano escape. On Sami Zayn, this could be a bad spot for Zayn. Zayn might have to tap. He might have no other way to escape. Try to shift his weight and now, oh, a knee right to the back of the head. Smart strategy by Zayn. Oh, here we go, Blue Thunder Bomb! Let's go, cover! Sami Zayn gets the win! Off the blue thunder bomb, he has pinned one half of the world tag team champions. Congratulations to Sami Zayn. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on just a second. Oh, come on, this is ridiculous. Sami, you already got the, the win. What else do you need? The humiliation. Is that all you need? Come on. This is ridiculous. Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, it is our first Money in the Bank qualifying match on Friday Night SmackDown. We know Bayley has qualified on the Raw side of things. Who will be the first SmackDown superstar to qualify for the women's Money in the Bank ladder match? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring, representing Havoc from Glasgow, Scotland, Nikki Cross. Nikki Cross would be the first member of Havoc to compete in a qualifying match. Next week, Piper Niven will get a qualifying match, but can Nikki Cross qualify? We're about to find out live here tonight. Uh, um, Venom, Sammy's already been a heel in the universe mode. Him and Kevin Owens as a tight team have been a heel. From Elmwood Park, New Jersey, Liv Morgan! A former Raw Women's Champion, Liv Morgan, would love to get an opportunity at qualifying here tonight. All fired up. The fans, listen to the fans. They love it. All fired up. Oh, and my goodness. Liv Morgan wasting no time, not even taking her jacket off. 
going right after Nikki Cross. Now, let, let's not take anything away from Nikki Cross. She's also a former women's champion on the SmackDown side of things. Liv Morgan going a bit berserk early on. Very, very interesting. Up to the top rope at the very beginning with a superplex to Nikki Cross. Two former women's champions going at it tonight. Yeah, I got a really good women's tag division. We have six women's tag teams in the universe mode, so we have a really stacked tag team, and I'm going to build it up a lot because we got great talent that needs to be used. Down goes Cross. Nikki Cross has not got a single piece of offense yet in this match. Liv Morgan has been destroying her early on. Big splash connecting. This might be an onslaughter, if anything. Remember, Havoc no longer has a leader. The faction known as Havoc has no leader. It is just Piper Niven and Nikki Cross and Becky Lynch is not resigned quite yet. Again, the assault has been absolutely insane. Nikki Cross might be in trouble here. Oh, but Cross was just baiting Liv Morgan. Cross now looking to take control. Oh, look at Liv though. Sends Cross. Oh, hold on a second. Liv's getting a little crazy. Liv has gone mad. Clyder and Gump on the announce table. The referee at six, and oh! Nobody home, but Morgan crawls into the ring. Big right hand. Morgan not wasting any time in motion. Nikki Cross though with a nice reversal. Oh, down with a clothesline. Nikki Cross now. Powering up Liv Morgan for a Samoan driver connecting. Shoulders down. And a kick out at two. Oh, wait, Liv Morgan might be in trouble here if Nikki Cross hits the neck breaker. Connecting! That's it for Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan is out for the three count. Ladies and gentlemen, Nikki Cross has qualified for the women's Money in the Bank ladder match. Here is your winner, Nikki Cross. Liv Morgan was too ahead of herself and it costed her the victory. Nikki Cross has qualified for Money in the Bank. How do I feel about uh, main roster superstars getting drafted to NXT? Ava said last week. So I honestly think it's great. I think there's certain talent on, uh, on uh, NXT that could really, or on the main roster, that could really benefit by going back to NXT. Like, I think Baron Corbin has done his, his best work since going back to NXT, and I mean that wholeheartedly, man. Like, he's done fantastic, a fantastic job, man. So I think talent getting drafted to NXT is great. Now, obviously, there's going to be certain talent that won't get drafted. Like, I think the talent that gets drafted to NXT is talent that is not doing much on the main roster, like Natalia, like those kind of names, you know what I'm saying? Like, Tegan Knox, maybe, um... Obviously, we saw um, you know Baron Corbin could be staying, but there's so much talent that they could, they so much they could do with talent like that. I think they're gonna take advantage of it. Back here on uh, Friday Night SmackDown, Coming off a massive win at WrestleMania. It's scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Cameron, North Carolina. Weighing in at 225 pounds. Jeff Hardy! Jeff Hardy who defeated Karrion Cross in a last man standing match at WrestleMania. Gets an opportunity 
to show what he's got tonight. All fired up, the fans on fire. Jeff Hardy, who's been on a roll for the last few months, now back on SmackDown. And he's gonna get to show this man around the ring, making his Universe Mode debut. It is the man only known as Grayson Waller. The fans booing this man, but like it says on the back of his hoodie, the Grayson Waller effect is going to be in full effect here on Friday Night SmackDown. One on one, and Waller, big flatliner, trying to take out the charismatic enigma. Remember, Jeff Hardy, a former Universal Champion. Guys, just letting you know, now that the Universal, uh, the Universal Championship is uh, retired, basically, and we have the World Heavyweight Championship back, the lineage of the Universal title, or the World title, will be carried on from the Universal Championship. So basically, like, Jeff Hardy, since he won the Universal title, he's a former World Heavyweight Champion, if that makes sense. So if I say that, that's what I mean, okay? Same thing with, like, Aleister Black, a former World Heavyweight Champion. Going to work, though. A big boot. Oh, X-Factor connecting. Looking for the nice sent on. Oh, nobody home. We will hear from the World Heavyweight Champion, the brand new World Champion, Edge, as he will be here later on tonight. But after like, coming in our later, uh, I can't speak. Main event tonight will be the Men's Money in the Bank qualifying match as we see the Cruiserweight Champion Pete Dunne take on Austin Theory who takes on Cody Rhodes. That is our main event tonight here on Friday Night Smackdown. Money in the Bank qualifier right there. Nice crossbody. Oh my goodness, that was a beautiful maneuver. Jeff Hardy going to take down Waller, and it could be looking for the end. <laughs> Jeff Hardy making easy work of Grayson Waller, which has not been a good look here. Fans eating it up for tonight, though. There we go. Going for the twist of fate stunner. Could that be it tonight? Cover. And that's it. Jeff Hardy with the victory. Oh, hold on a second. It's the brand new world heavyweight champion. The rated R superstar, Edge. And look at that title, man. Has he's got his eyes on Jeff Hardy? Oh, this is interesting. Oh, Jeff wants it, but look at Edge. Looks like Edge has found his first challenger for the World Championship. That's going to be a great sight to see, man. Oh, Nikki Cross is great. I love her. Like that, That's why she qualified for Money in the Bank. But ladies and gentlemen, it is main event time here on Friday Night SmackDown as we have the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes versus Austin Theory versus Pete Done the cruiserweight champion. Who's gonna qualify? We find out in our main event here tonight. The following is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin. We know 
Austin Theory has been taken under the wing of Randy Orton. Randy Orton has been trying to form this new legacy, as he likes to call it, and he's got Austin Theory under his wing. Randy Orton will be competing in a qualifying match next week. And to be honest, it's, work, it's been working well for Austin Theory. He had the biggest win of his career at WrestleMania when he defeated Daniel Bryan. A huge victory for Austin Theory. But now, looks to qualify for the men's Money in the Bank ladder match. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes the American Nightmare. And his opponents, first from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, who came off a win against Austin Theory's leader, Randy Orton. It was an incredible rivalry with an amazing culmination for Cody Rhodes, who is in his fifth month in the universe mode, who debuted at the Royal Rumble at number two. Now, remains here on Friday Night SmackDown. There he is. And from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds, the Cruiserweight Champion, Pete Dunne. The Bruiserweight himself, Pete Dunne, who's been on a rampage as of late, your reigning Cruiserweight Champion. The Disciples have disbanded the faction Pete Dunne was a part of alongside Buddy Murphy and Seth Rollins, who has is not, no longer a part of the company because he lost in a loser leaves match. Pete Dunne has had to focus on himself since then. And he's done great well. He has done really well since then. Now you're a cruiserweight champion. But now he looks to qualify for the Money in the Bank ladder match. That'd be an incredible opportunity for the bruiserweight. The crowd chanting all day, not today. This should be a fun one. Triple threat action beginning now. And Cody Rhodes going for the first strike. Bionic elbow. Oh, with their theory taking out Cody Rhodes. Nice uppercut by Pete Dunne. Oh, look at the power by Cody, but oh, down goes the American Nightmare. Nice monkey flip there by the WWE Cruiserweight Champion. And look at him go once again, the bionic elbow attack. Theory from behind. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our main event tonight here on Friday Night SmackDown. Our first Money in the Bank qualifying match for the men's here on SmackDown. As so far, Ricochet has qualified. Nice strikes. Look at this guy go. Beautiful attempt. The Cruiserweight Champion doing great well by himself. But Austin Theory now trying to take control. But now look at him go. Look at the strength. Spinning sidewalk slam to Cody Rhodes. Oh, but Pete Dunn lurking. Look at a strike at any moment. But Cody in trouble as Austin stomps on his left arm. A big opportunity here on Friday Night SmackDown. Beautiful swing, neck breaker. Cody Rhodes looking to get back into the fight, though, against Austin Theory. 
Nice clothesline taking down A Town down. Backstabber from behind. P. Dunn does not care who you are, he will take you down to size. What can we be seeing here? Oh, Pete Dunn, oh my goodness! A slingshot, DDT to Cody Rhodes right on the hardest part of the ring. The apron for Austin Theory with a sledgehammer. Remember, triple threat rules. There are no disqualifications in triple threat matches. 100% a very smart strategy if you're Austin Theory. Who's got the sledgehammer now? Oh, and now sledgehammer used on Pete Dunn, and now Cody using it on Austin Theory. It's got a bit serious since then. And look at him go to work. Going for the Cody Cutter, nobody home. Nobody home and out, a chair being thrown. This is really a no DQ triple threat that we are seeing right here. Oh, butterfly suplex, bridge cover by Pete Dunn and a kick out by Theory. What a match it has been, ladies and gentlemen. Boom, boom. Things have definitely got interesting since the beginning of this one. Oh, but Austin Theory looking to take advantage. Blockbuster connecting. Crawling into the cover. And a kick out at two. Cody trying to get back involved in this one. Could be going for the finishing touches. Eight. Austin Theory live in full effect. ATL connecting. Straight into the cover. Oh, but there's Cody Rhodes trying to break things up. Taking down Austin Theory. Austin Theory hit his finishing maneuver, the ATL. Now Cody, disaster kick, nobody home. Kamora locked in on Theory. But now look at this here. Oh, a nice reversal. Bam! Inverted DDT. Disaster kick. Cody Rhodes is on fire. Oh, misses wildly. What a match it has been. Guys, if you have not already, please make sure to like this video. I'd greatly appreciate it. Look at Theory going to work once again. Oh! Cody Rhodes with the assistance right there. Boom! There we go, Cody. Oh, Cody Rhodes! Cody Cutter on the chair! That's it! That's it! Ladies and gentlemen, Cody Rhodes is going! To money in the bank, what a finish that was. A Cody Cutter onto the chair. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes has qualified for the money in the bank ladder match. What a finish. To that match, congratulations to Cody Rhodes. And that is how we close out Friday Night SmackDown, ladies and gentlemen. We're actually doing really good on time, so let me just do this real quick. So just letting you guys know, I have a duplicate of every custom championship. Let me just show you real quick. There we go. I'm just removing everyone who, uh, well, actually, we hear our new tag team champions. Trick and Mello won the tag titles. We have a duplicate of the WWE Championships. All right. So
now we have Raw next week, which I'm going to let you guys know most likely I will be streaming that on, uh, let me think, most likely it'll be Thursday this week, I'm thinking, because I know I'm not going to be able to do it tomorrow or Wednesday. Let's read through the news real quick. Ilya Dragunov has taken a victory against Cedric Alexander after an impressive match all out. Oh, wait, this is from a long time. Oh, wait, this is like, my bad, never mind. Yeah, sorry guys, I, I didn't start. This is where it starts, actually. Uh, historical stats. Who won the Rumble? Okay, this is championships. Okay, these ones don't really count. I don't know why they're here, but that's fine. Because I accidentally had to simulate the whole year, so that's fine. Alright, so let's start from the beginning, shall we? Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair got into a stare down in the ring, putting the crowd in an up. Uh, uproar over the anticipation of these two superstars in a title match. Both competitors have shown they're taking this championship match very seriously, promising an intense bout between the two. So it looks like Sasha Banks wants a title opportunity because she did win the World's Collide Battle Royal to, to get a title opportunity. So she gets an opportunity at the Raw and SmackDown Women's titles. Trick Williams and Carmelo Hayes won the WWE Tag Team Championships together. Andrade appeared on the stage after the champions match to make a statement to AJ Styles and the crowd that his title reign is coming to an end. The confidence boost will likely give the challenger an edge, uh, edge heads towards their championship or edge heading towards their championship match. My bad. Shinsuke Nakamura and Gunther got into a stare down in the ring, putting the crowd into an uproar over the anticipation of these two superstars in their title match. So we could be seeing a title match between these. These are potential title fights that we're going to get. Braun Strowman retained the United States Championship right here. Winning a match wasn't enough for Sami Zayn as he chased jo down Johnny Gargano to continue an attack. The ruthless assault has fans concerned about how much further the superstar will take things in their rivalry. Edge attacked, uh, Edge attacked Jeff Hardy from behind after leaving him open with a distraction. These actions just got... Uh, go to show how much contempt the attacker has for his title match opponent, viewing him merely as an obstacle that needs to be removed off the championship picture by force. So it looks like Jeff Hardy will be the first to face Edge for the Universal Championship, or I should say World Heavyweight Title. I keep messing that up. So we are only a few weeks away from Money in the Bank. I'm going to end the stream here, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. It's great to be back. We are going to be back, I believe, this coming Thursday. So make sure to stay tuned. Until then, it has been EG Flames, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. See you guys Thursday. Take care, guys.